Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking this question of I found in the Ross answer forum, how to know if a robot has moved one meter using odometry. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy. Our online academy you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now yes, let's go with the video. So as always, let's go to the ROS development studio. Here I have already created a ROS project in order to show you an example of how to do this. So let's open this project in this case, check distance. Remember, I will, I will share this project with you also so that you have all the code available with a simple click. I will share it in the video description as well. So yeah, let's open it. And as I've said, basically what we are going to do is to see how, using the odometry topic, we can know the distance moved by a robot. For this case, I'm going to be using Python code but uh, probably next week I'm going to do exactly the same with C++ code, so you have the two options. But for this first, exa first example I'm going to use Python code. So yeah, let's wait a few moments until the wall environment loads. And there we go, excellent. So let's open a shell, we will use later, let's open an IDE. For now, in order to review what we have here. So basically we have, uh, you'll see, we have two packages. One which is the one that uh, checks the distance moved. This one, the auto movement detector. And the other one is just to test that everything works as expected. So here we have a basic uh, Python uh, class, as you can see, named movement detector. And what does this? Basically, as you can see here, we have a subscriber to the Odom topic, very important. And then we have also a publisher that will publish a float number, so uh, just one float, into a topic named moved distance. Yeah. Then the first thing we do is to get the initial position. So we get the, the, first, posi the first position in which the robot is, in x, y, and z. Yeah. Uh, of course, we get this from the autumn topic. So let's do qu very quickly. Let's start a simulation uh, with a total bot, for instance. So let's start the simulation here. Okay, let's leave this here a uh, loading. Then, so yeah, here we have the getting position that basically gets the initial position of the robot. Then we have the Odom callback. And here, what we are doing is to first get the new position. So from the message that we are getting from the odometry topic, we store this, we store the position value, in fact, into this new position variable. Let me see if... Okay, yeah. Okay, so here we have uh, our simulation. Then, if we do here our ROS topic list, we will see that we have a, a topic which is called Todom. And if we check a message here, uh, sorry, topic echo Odom minus n one to only get one message. And here, as you can see, we have many information, all the headers information uh, here. And then we have a pose and a twist. So inside the post, which is the, uh, what we are interested in now, we have information about the position in X, Y, Z and the orientation in Quaternion. Yeah. So basically, uh, for this, we are only interested in this position. Yeah. As you can see now, it's zero, 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 because we have the robot in the in the zero of the simulation, so in the center. But basically, what we will use is this position information, yeah? This is the data that we are getting here, this position, as you can see, pose, pose, position. This is basically this, pose, pose, position, yeah? So we are getting this information here, the X, Y, and Z. 
as you can also see here yeah post post position x yeah then basically uh, here we are getting the this data that we get from the own topic and we store it in the new position and then we calculate the distance between this new position the one at the current moment and the initial position that we got here in this function yeah then uh, if the distance uh, is less than 0, 0, 0, 0001 we consider it uh, as zero moved and else we publish the moved distance that we get here from the calculate distance function yeah then in this calculate distance uh, function basically what we are doing is uh, basic uh, trigonometry as you can see yeah so from x and y because the z so we have the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis uh, which we, would be the vertical we are not interested for the in this in this uh, value for the moving distance yeah then uh, we calculate the distance using here uh, the hypotenuse between x and y and then after we calculate the distance we update the current position using this uh, function so within these values where we initially had the initial position we put the new position, yeah, which is the one that we have uh, we are getting from the odometry callback, and yeah, and finally we have here a function where we uh, spin forever, publishing the moved distance, yeah. So it's pretty simple as you can see. Let's quickly summarize everything again. So. We, have, we are publishing into a topic which is called moved distance, a float, yeah? And we are subscribed to the odometry topic. Then, the first thing we do is to get an initial position, which we store in this current position variable. In this case, for instance, the initial position would be 0, 0, 0, yeah? Then, uh, each time we get a new message from the odometry topic, we do the following. We get the current position, the new position, and we compare, we calculate the distance between this new position and the initial position, and we publish this information, if, it's, uh, if it has not moved or if, if it has moved, we publish this uh, distance into the, this moved distance topic, yeah? Then we update the current position, and Again, when we get another message from the Odom topic, we start over the process all over again. So we, uh, we compare the current position with the new position and we publish the distance moved in the moved distance topic. Yeah, and this will go on forever. So let's test this program and see if it works as expected. So let's do a ROS run. It's Odom movement detector and auto movement detector dot pi so let's just start this program let's open a new shell here here let's visualize ROS topic list here we should have already a topic which is called move as di moved distance here we have it and now if we, if we check this topic ROS topic echo move distance uh, there we go. So at present, as you can see, we have a zero because we are not moving the robot. It's a static. So we have a zero value. The robot has not moved at all. But now, let's open a new shell and start moving the robot a little bit forward, for instance. So rostopic puff into the common vel topic. Geometry messages. Let's move it forward slowly. So here we put a 0 0.1 and the robot will start moving forward, as you will see here. There we go. And as you can see here, the distance moved is starting to increase. 0 0.5, 6, 7, 8. As the robot moves forward, this number keeps increasing. 1 meter, etc. Yeah, now, 
I'm going to stop the movement of the robot. Here we go. And the move distance will uh, stop again. So it will keep static. Yeah? So 0, 0, let's stop the robot. There we go, the robot has has stopped, and as you can see, this number also has stopped increasing. Now it is 2.8 meters. Yeah? Okay, so this looks like it's working uh, properly, as expected. Uh, but now, for instance, we can still test another uh, very basic program that I have, uh, I have created here. Basically, this what does is to publish into the command belt topic, so it, it keeps moving the robot forward and while it does, it does so, it checks the value here in the moved distance topic, yeah? The value that we were checking here. Then, while this value keeps under 2 meters, the robot will, will keep moving forward. Then, once this value is higher than 2, so once the robot has moved more than 2 meters, then it will stop the robot. It will publish a zero velocity. Yeah? So let's try this. Let's start again our auto movement detector. Let's check again the moved distance, which should be zero now, because we are not moving... Yeah, this is like a zero. It's a negative exponential. Here you have it. Zero. And now let's run our... our test program. So Rosman test movement test movement.py so you will see now how the robot starts moving forward there you have it and the value here keeps increasing 0 0.4, 5, 6 so now this is under 2 this is less than 2 so the robot will keep moving forward at, at this velocity 0 0.1 meters per second then once this value is higher than 2 which is going to be soon you will see how the robot stops 9, 2. There you have it. So now the value is higher than 2 and the robot stops moving. Yeah? So here you have a very basic example of how to control your robot based on the move distance using the odometry topic. Yeah? In Python, of course. So, yeah, that's all for the video of today. Re remember that I I'm going to share this project with you so that you have this code available. And yeah, if you liked the video, please remember to subscribe, give us a like, leave your thoughts, your comments in the comments area below, and see you in the next video. Goodbye!